Hi everyone, welcome to Big Arky Golf and uh, we're going on a little walk today it's quite windy, it's a lovely sunny day but the nature of where I live is always pretty windy and we're going to a very windy spot so forgive the wind noise in this today that's an awful lot of words about wind so, um, where are we walking to today? we're off to Cape Cornwall Cape Cornwall is a, a fantastic location really it's very wild. We'll uh, we'll get out there and show you it uh, when I get there. It's about a mile and a half from where I live, and uh, en route we will be popping by Cape Cornwall Club. Cape Cornwall Club used to be Cape Cornwall Golf and Leisure, so today is Wednesday. The golf course is open. I'm not a member there, so I won't be able to actually go on the course and play, uh, but I will hope to try and take a few pictures because we've got to go past couple of the holes en route. Uh, also got a whole bunch of questions today from the request that I put out on YouTube and then predominantly on Twitter for various questions. Okay so let's get cracking, let this bit of traffic go by, all of two cars and uh, we'll get on the footpath. Okay, first question is from Sean Hargreaves. Sean Hargreaves is a fellow golf mate, he's on Twitter, and uh, he asked a question that a lot of people ask all over the place, what would be your favourite four ball? Sorry, my glasses are bleeping at me. Oh no, Wi-Fi glasses. Technology, eh? So, my favourite four ball that I would like, I would like to play with is kind of, it brings back memories for me brings back memories of when I was a kid because when I was a kid there wasn't really much golf on TV you only had the BBC really I guess uh, there was no sky and all these kind of things I'm 54 also my mum and dad didn't have a car so as much as my dad liked sport was very sporty when he was young when I came along they were both getting on a bit and they weren't really into sport very much so the only thing we really saw was on TV and uh, I used to love pro celebrity golf like a round with Alice and Pro Celebrity Golf. So my four my four ball is from that era because it reminded me of my dad. I'd like my dad to play, but we used to have like a few knockabout games on a few couple of pigeon putts in Bristol. Um, but he wasn't really a golfer as such, as far as I know. So my four ball, which would be famous people, would be uh, Sean Connery, Peter Alice. Someone funny like Ronnie Corbett or Jimmy Carbot, one of those kind of people. Uh, and the professional, Lee Trevino. Absolutely love Lee Trevino. Uh, obviously some of those people aren't around anymore. Some have retired from uh, doing sort of particularly active things. We're getting on. Um, but yeah, I love to have met Lee Trevino. Love to meet Lee Trevino if he's still around. I think he still is. And uh, yeah, one of my heroes. People that just enjoyed the social side of golf and that was the strange thing you know the BBC were promoting the social side of golf all the time with those kind of programs and that's kind of died off now it's all about professional golf on TV which I guess is why YouTube's so popular because that's about real life golf people of all different experience levels having fun a few laughs drink at the end but playing great courses so we'll move on further down I'll ask another question a bit more wildlife again today or let's not say wildlife, more beautifully kept and looked after animals. Gorgeous horses. I love horses. I can't say the word properly. I come from Bristol, so it sounds like horse, but always wanted a horse on my own and a donkey. Got to have a donkey in your life. Okay, before it gets too windy, we're going to go around another corner and then we're really going to hit this wind. Uh, wow. This little road today is really busy. Obviously the rules have changed on lockdown and uh, this is the main way to the golf course and Cape Cornwall, not much else to be honest. So it's just supremely busy today. Wonder why? Okay, so the next question is from Nick Fowings. I'm, I'm hoping I got your name right, mate. 
I love you in a bit, okay? Uh, just until people tell me what their surname really sounds like, I don't know. So this is from Nick. Uh, this is on Twitter, uh, but Nick follows the channel all over the place. Uh, now, Nick's question was, what's your favourite course that you've played so far? Well, as you know, I've not been playing this game very long and I live on the far end of nowhere, so travelling is difficult. Uh, so, favourite course I've played so far? I've played some really nice courses. I've played the Belfry. Uh, that was that was amazing. I loved the Belfry. The, probably the best looked after course I've ever seen. So much water. Lost so many balls. But it was a challenge and it was a lot of fun. Um, but for me, right now, and it's strange, I would have said, obviously, you know, West Corn was a club I, I'm a member of and played for, or played with people there all the time. Uh, and for me, the best club is all about the membership. It's not necessarily about the quality of the course. Yeah, there's lovely courses out there, but if I lived in Somerset, I would be a member of Enmore Park. Enmore Park, you've seen on my channel before, beautiful parkland course, Quonshock Hills, lovely location. When we played there, it was like millionaire golf. There was already anybody about. Uh, whether that was just the right time, I don't know. There were people with, on horses, there was deer, there were deer around on the course. Just stunningly beautiful. And the membership, lovely. And the people that run the place, brilliant. They couldn't do anything else for us, really, to make it any more perfect. So helpful, so lovely. The pro at the time, David Wixon, great man. Uh, he's now moved on to other things. So it'll be interesting to go back, hopefully when lockdown is released more, and uh, see what it's like now. But just thank you so much, Amor Park, because you've been really good to us on this channel. And like, like I said, I would join there in an instant. What else can I say? So, let's move on to the next question. So here we are at Cape Cornwall, Cape Cornwall Club. Very windy, as you can tell. A couple of people just making their way up to third tee. Beautiful day. Wish I had my clubs. Wish I was a member. Maybe we'll see a few more in a minute. So we're making our way along and so far it's been quite flat, which is great because I know later on it's not going to be. Uh, but it's been a much easier walk than the last one we did. So the next question is from Smithy Golfs. Uh, Mike Smith, you know Smithy, you've been on my channel before and he will be on there very soon again soon, hopefully. Uh, Smithy's question is, what courses in the southwest would I really like to play? And I've played quite a few so far. So, strangely enough, Travaux, I'd love to play Travaux. It's one of the Lynx courses in Cornwall I haven't played and obviously a well-known one, really big well-known one. It'll beat me up, but that's part of the fun for me. Um, and then most of the rest are kind of in Devon. So I want to do Saunton East, play Saunton West with Smithy, so it'd be good to go back there, maybe with him again and we'll do the other Saunton. That was a lovely course, beautiful location again. Um, I want to play some of the classic ones, so Royal North Devon, um, they've been really friendly with me on Twitter, so we're going to go up there and hopefully do that one very soon when we're allowed. So Royal North Devon and uh, Burnham and Barrow. A bit of an issue with Bruno and Barrow because when I did apply to them once, they said I couldn't go and play, I wasn't good enough. So maybe when I'm good enough to let me play on their main course. They've got two courses, if I remember rightly. So Burnham and Barrow, so play their main course. Uh, and one near you, I think, Smithy. Um, there are a few people who have said they'd like me to go and play at, and I've got a couple of friends who are members there, I believe. And that's uh, Woodbury Park. I think it's called Woodbury Park, Woodbury Park near Exeter. We'll go there. Again, totally different course. I play mostly Lynx, so it's nice for me to play other kind of courses as well. Just for the challenge, just because I really enjoy trying something different. So that's that question, we move on. So, here's the main entrance to Cape Cornwall Club. Uh, fair number of cars in. Not the biggest, busiest club for members. And uh, obviously, I guess there's still a bit of a fear of lockdown and things, but uh, from what I've seen, people are out there enjoying themselves, having a good time. Maybe we'll see a bit more on the course in a minute. Let's ask another question. Okay, so my next question uh, to be answered is from Gary Haig on Twitter. And uh, 
He says a bit of a boring question. It's not. It's it's a fine question. If money was no object, where would I want to play in the world? Now everyone's going to do you know, Pebble Beach and all those kind of amazing places that you see. Um, maybe some of the Ryder Cup courses. I want to go back to Ireland. I used to live in Ireland, and when I lived in Ireland, I never played golf. That was another wife, another life. Hello, Hi mom. there. You all right? Hello, mum. <laughs> sorry if he's That's all right. <laughs> Uh, fans, eh? Okay. Uh, great black and gold shirt. Cool more colours. Okay, so, um, yeah, another wife, another life. And uh, I would like to go back. And I used to live um, on the border of County, Cork, County Kerry. So I would like to go and play Killarney, which is supposed to be fantastic and a wonderful parkland course with lots of water, etc. Beautifully maintained. Because uh, that was just up the road from me. And I want to play. Old Man Head, Old Man Heads Links um, in Kinsale, because that just looks absolutely stunning. What a location that is. I don't think you could beat that anywhere in the world. And Ireland, well, hospitality of the Irish can't be beaten. So, I want to go there. Also, very quickly going back on the other question that uh, Smithy put on, I forgot one. I forgot a course that I want to play just because it's probably going to be pretty quirky. I want to go to the Isles of Scilly because I think they've got a nine hole course on one of the islands. Can't be a Cornish YouTuber and play golf if you don't go to the Isles of Scilly and try playing golf on their course. I hope that answers your question, Gary. Not boring at all, mate. I lived in Ireland for about five or six years. I'd love to live there again. Life just moves on. But I will go back and this time I'll play golf. Cape Cornwall Golf Club or Cape Cornwall Club. Yeah, there's more people out there than I thought. Looks a little bit quiet, but when you get on the course, because there's probably not so many people actually be able to play at any one time, you find out that all the holes have people playing on them. And that's good. I just spoke to Andy Cleary, who's the owner here, and uh, he said uh, they're doing really well. They've had gained quite a few new members actually, and that's brilliant. Isn't that what this is all about at the moment? It's, it's, you have to think of the lockdown as an opportunity for golf clubs, opportunity to bring new people in, bring new blood in to, you know, to boost some of the memberships. And uh, that's just really good. Get more people to join the courses and join golf clubs and then their money will help look after the courses. Brilliant. Very nice. So what's the course like at the moment after the layoff? I don't know, only played one hole. Only one hole, but what's the one hole like? Beautiful. There you go. So a bit luck, we're gonna have a quick word with these two gentlemen who've just finished the 18th at Cape Cormor Club. Be nice to see what they think of the course at the moment. Good afternoon. Oh yeah, I've got a license. I keep it in my back pocket. That's very good. Well done. Can't complain with that, the amount of time you've had off. So what's the course like after 18 hours today? Looks good, doesn't it? Actually, I think if this, course, if this is a thrilling course. If nobody played golf on it, everything would be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Green. Oh, I agree. It's a lovely course. And uh, I said, I'm just looking across now, just walking down from St. Justin, thinking, yeah, the condition of the course is beautiful. Maybe, maybe, maybe lockdown was good for golf courses. Maybe yeah. it's had a bit of a rest, you know? And well, this one. Yeah. yeah. Had a harsh winter. Yeah, yeah. Didn't we? Lovely. Thank you, gentlemen. We don't have helicopters today, we've got a barking dog. Okay, 
seats all blocked off, drinks fountains all blocked off, ball washers all blocked off. Golf is changing a little bit, but you still can't stop thinking how wonderful and how beautiful some of these golf courses are. This is probably one of the most iconic holes on Cape Cornwall Club. This is the 12th. So we walk down a little bit to uh, see where you tee off. One of the tees here. Tees further down. All the way down. Okay, That is Cape Cornwall Point at the far end. Uh, quick question while it's, the wind's just died off. I'm down behind a bit of a wall here. Uh, from Morgan, I think it's off the top of my head, Morgan W03. Uh, on Twitter, he's asked whether the uh, golf day, the Big Ollie Charity Golf Day, will go on and will take place. Uh, I know he's one of the people who've uh, signed up for it. Um, well, my plan, let's just turn the screen up, sorry about this. Uh, my intention is it's still going to take place. Uh, we've got three months, so hopefully things will change. Hopefully things will change for the better. If we all keep doing what we're told in golf and if you know this R number or whatever they're calling it improves, you never know. Uh, I will speak to Lan Hydrock Golf Club probably about another month, so that they'll start knowing what's happening with their position as a hotel, etc. Um, their kind of facilities are a bit different, I guess. A bit like here, it's a hotel and restaurant, etc. Um, my intention is it will still go ahead. Now, obviously, whether it will be on that date, I can't guarantee that right now, but it's completely full. No one's saying they want to pull out. If we have to move it a bit, we'll move it a bit. But we will, it will happen. And hey, life will go on, okay? Manana, manana. All right, so we will, it will happen. It definitely will happen. Um, hopefully on the date. Keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Um, see how it goes. All right, I think some of the best views from this hole is off the yellow tees. So we're going to go off the yellow tee a second. I say go off, I haven't got any clubs on me. Um, I do have permission from the owners here to walk on the course today. Just in case people thought I was just trespassing or anything, I'm not. So, a quick look down here. You should just about, it's just where that yellow AA van is, you should see where the hole is, where the green is. Isn't that a fantastic shot. What a brilliant hole that is. Superb. On a day like this, a bit breezy, but it's perfect. I've seen this place in awful weather, and then that's even more of a supreme challenge if you really want to take it on. There's also another fantastic hole just over here, which is great from the tees here. Look at that for a tee shot. Keep that dead straight, lads, because otherwise, no idea where you're going to go. And then drop off over the edge. Brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Anyway, we'll walk down to the Cape. Go off the golf course now and walk down to the Cape. Come round. I'm afraid that's not coming round. I won't ask you a question about that shot. No. Uh, so, you've had quite a few weeks off now, same as I have. Course looking good. Course looking wonderful so far. Yeah, I think, I just think, I just spoke to a couple of other people, and I just think the, the, the layoff is almost kind of good. I know it didn't seem good for us, yeah. but the courses have all come out superb. Very wet before all this. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of sunshine. Perfect. Good. Carry on, my friends. Have a good day. And I apologise for the, to the gentleman who's had to probably miss hit a shot on camera. It's tough playing with a camera in front if you've never done it before. So, I got distracted. Let's go and have a walk down to the Cape.
Okay, so this is the 12th green. Uh, we've been at the top and uh, the gentleman's just finished, so they've walked off. So that's the kind of hillside you get from um, playing at the top down to the bottom. That's so cool and so tough. A lot of fun there. So, let's answer the next question. Okay, so I'm taking shelter a little bit. Wind is really whipping up now, so I may have trouble talking, but we'll show you some good scenes in a minute. Uh, I'm outside the Little Wonder Cafe. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Uh, this used to be a fantastic little um, cafe on the promenade on Penzance Prom. And uh, it used to be a caravan, and then he moved here. Obviously, at the moment, Cornwall is still closed for tourism. So, as much as I know a lot of people want to come down to Cornwall and take a look around, please don't right now. Uh, don't come down for a day trip either. All the toilets like here are closed, the National Trust car parks are closed. I'm walking on the National Trust car park now, there's nobody here. Uh, Cornwall is not open for business as tourists yet. We've only got one big hospital and uh, we could get overrun by this virus very quickly if too many tourists come down. Just one of those things. So, next question is from GMAC Golf. Uh, Graham McKenzie runs GMAC Golf on YouTube. Really good channel, please watch. Uh, along with all the other YouTubers right now. And uh, his question is, off the top of my head, sorry I can't read this, I haven't got glasses on. Um, what makes me stand out? What do I feel makes me stand out from other YouTubers and who inspires me? Hmm. Who inspires me would be people like Casey Neistat. Everyone says it. When I started, he was really big name. Uh, still a big name, but he was producing every day. And my original family channel, I think the style was quite similar at one point. Lots of me walking past the camera, lots of me holding the cameras, all the camera equipment I've got or pretty much most of it at the time, was all based on the things he used. Uh, so that kind of style, I quite like the vlogging style. It's funny I've got back to doing this the last couple of weeks. Really quite enjoy it. Just something you can't really do that much on on golfing channels, but nice to do it again. Uh, Golf-wise, well, I guess Liam from Golf Mates has got to be one of my best inspirations and friends. Uh, Andy from used to be tee up low now the average golfer because without them I wouldn't have got this channel started and they've just been really so helpful hmm what makes me stand out I don't know if I do I think everyone everyone is a bit different uh, I like to think that being 54 and not exactly athletic now although I was once uh, that might make me stand out might make my channel be a bit more um, every day than other people in golf there's not that many of us who Aren't, who aren't good, you know, sounds awful I'm not good, but are high handicappers. There's not many people who are willing to go for it and just take a chance and not care too much if they make mistakes and show them on camera, which is what I do. You know, I'd, I think we're a family channel. I spoke many times with Matt, my, my coach on here, and uh, he's got kids, I've got kids. His, his children watch our channel, mine don't, because they're not into sport, that's life. Uh, but I like to think a lot of children do, so there's not there's no more language on my channel, no bad language. You know, I love to be a bit edgy. I love to be, you know, maybe do a bit top blokey sometimes, but it's just not me. Um, I like to be a bit more wacky like Liam. Maybe that's just not me. I think what you get with me is you get what you see. So every time, if you meet me in real life, this is exactly who I am. And uh, so people who come and see me on a channel, they want to come and play, this is me. There's no airs and graces, there's no falseness, just me. So, that's that for now. Little motorbike just pulling away. Oh, it's actually quite busy today. Crazy. Um, we'll do another question. Okay, so another quick question is from Lee from Golf Nuts. Love you to bits, Lee. Uh, hope your dad's well, my friend, because I know he was struggling recently, um, I think with the virus and obviously his other normal health conditions. Hope he's improving dramatically. Okay, and hope to see you both very soon. Um, Lee asked, again off the top of my head because I'm not reading this, um, what do I enjoy about YouTube golf? Uh, is it the editing? Is it the, crea uh, the being creative? Um, I think I just love meeting people because without Big Oggy Golf, I'd just be a lonely person, really, and that's true. Um, I do have Asperger's, I do have some mental health issues, so most of the time I'd be playing golf by myself taken me three years to find a, just a, a small group of people that I kind of trust and want to play and enjoy playing with at West Cornwall so without not putting on a persona because I am who I am but I kind of I can flick from John Ogden into Big Oggy and when I'm Big Oggy I have the confidence to just 
be me on camera and meet people and you know just help people when I can um, I would love to be more creative I'd like to do more editing kind of use my editing skills to make a bit more arty etc sometimes you just don't have the time especially with, with two channels and uh, I'm also care of my wife and we've got two teenage children as well so it's a you know, busy life um, so for me I really enjoy the editing the editing is fun because um, I'm getting better at it I guess uh, but again that's a bit of a bottomless pit for all the different um, apps you can get and all the different bits and pieces you can get to make things better transformations etc um, so for me it's getting out and playing and traveling I love traveling I love seeing different parts of the country different parts of the world and I love meeting people yeah I can get quite insular when I switch off big oggy and I can go a bit reclusive but when I put big oggy into my head back on just love it and so far I don't care, there's a couple of very big YouTubers I've not met and uh, we probably all know are the ones who aren't particularly helpful and friendly. Every YouTuber I've met has just been really nice. They've all been fun, they've all been interested in what I do, they've all been really supportive and patient when I played them because you know, predominantly you're all better than me. And uh, they've all been really helpful and I've always liked to think that I can help back and I can help other people so I do get lots of other questions asking uh, in private about whether it be technology or techniques or place to play and advice and I give it I just give it as much as I can um, that's what it's about as far as I'm concerned Skip Unity not just on my channel but community of all the YouTubers I think the really big ones they struggle with that because it's just economy of scale you know they they can't deal with every question and answer that comes through from everybody and they have management teams and, and professional people that are editing their things people like me people like you Lee uh, people probably up to, I don't know, let's say 20,000 maybe people on their channels. They're not earning enough money from YouTube to make it even more professional unless we buy a bit more equipment. So it's a challenge. I like the creative process. I'm an artist by trade. So I, I, every time I create a painting, I create, it's, a, it's a little war and it's a little individual battles which you have to defeat and you have to beat. And it's brilliant when you, when you can do that. So it is good. And uh, it's just another creative string to my bow really give me something to do apart from painting sometimes when you do it when you're creative when things like painting or music or whatever becomes your job you don't always just want to do it so you need to get away from it sometimes but this is like a second second version of being creative which is just fine I can go into this be creative in this I can go back to painting be creative in that go away from this just keeps refreshing and just revamping myself every time I hope that answers your question, Lee. Do my best. There's a very brave soul out there, swimming. Should have brought my cosy. I'd be in like a shot. I would, love swimming. But you can't get much more rugged than this part of Cornwall. And today, it's absolutely beautiful. A couple of local fishermen getting bits and pieces ready on the little boats. What everyone kind of thinks Cornwall's about. This is proper pole dark country, so there's a lot of the mines, everything you see on pole dark, and the films and the TV series. It's all around here. Got a lighthouse up in the background over there. Around the corner is Senan Cove, fantastic beach, and uh, just around the corner from that is Land's End. Okay, so time's getting on, so I'm going to quickly grab the other questions for my phone, and uh, you won't get too bored, hopefully. Uh, Michael Hall on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing, Michael. John, enjoyed the walk and talk from the last video. Uh, you sure have some beautiful countryside here? Yes, we do. I live in an amazing county and mustn't take it for granted, but I guess we do at times. Uh, I would like to know more about how and why you got involved with golf. By the way, love the bakehouse. You could have asked me how or why I love cooking. 
hate it, but it stays with me. Um, I got involved with golf because I loved it when I was a kid, and it was also something that I wanted to, I really wanted to do, but wasn't able to because they had my, my parents didn't have a lot of money, they couldn't travel, they didn't have any car or anything. There was no real courses near me, and I certainly couldn't afford to join one at the time. It was one of those eras when you had to have membership fees, interviews, lots of money. It was never going to happen. So I enjoyed just having a go at pitch and putt courses a little bit every now and again. Um, but I travelled and I travelled and I travelled and I just never really settled down in various places. And then a few years ago I wanted to get fit again and I took up tennis because I love tennis as well. And I really damaged my knee really badly and uh, ruptured some knee ligaments and things and was basically told tennis was just too wrong for me. Certainly some of my size, too many knee twists and too dangerous. So I thought, well, what can I play by myself? Because I said, I don't have an awful lot of friends and uh, it's not sad, it's just what I am, and just the way I like living. Um, so I thought golf. And I'll just go back to what I kind of enjoyed when I was a kid. I didn't have any clubs when I was a kid, but I just enjoyed playing at Ashton Court at Bristol, but he could borrow a couple of clubs and have a hit around. So that's why I got involved. And the channel happened because I did a video on my old original channel, which was the Oggy House, which now doesn't exist and is now the big Oggy Bake House. Um, and I did a video there where I went to do a little practice session. Uh, at the time I was doing more vlogging type videos. And I did a, um, a Get Into Golf Scheme course and I thought it'd be really good to do a film. I did that and then a load of people just said, oh, it'd be really cool for you to do a, a golf channel. I don't know why, but I think because of my age and my ability and I thought, well, or lack of ability. Um, and I think that's, so that's why I did it and that's why the channel hopefully is growing and that's why people enjoy it. Okay, it's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest either. And in Cornwall, it's getting quite a good reputation and, I, and that's what I want. I want the channel to have a good reputation. I want I, me to have a good reputation and the people who play I want to show golf in the best way I can. And I, that won't be from ability wise, but it'll certainly be from the fun side of it, the social side of it, the beautiful places I can show you and all those kind of things. So I hope that answers your question. Um, I'm going to blend in and blend out and find the next question. Okay, next question again on YouTube is from Simon Thorpe. Uh, once we get back to normal, do you have a golf goal, re your handicap, i.e. get down to 18 for instance? Or do you purely want to see as many courses as possible and enjoy your game? You have a solid swing, so 18 would be possible. 18 would be possible if I played properly all the time and stopped blooming filming. Um, if you ask anyone that plays golf and runs a YouTube channel, they will tell you YouTube filming is the worst thing you can do to improve your game. It's rubbish. Um, you're concentrating too much on everything else and what you're going to think about saying, what you're going to think about filming, what other people are doing, you don't get time to play enough. So if I had more time, I would like to think I could get down to, yeah, 19. 19 would be great. I'd like to be kind of around Smith's level, 19. Uh, never get as good as uh, Neil Allen on my channel. He's much better than me. Um, but I love, I love playing with people who are better because I get to see kind of how they do things. I like more distance on my, on my game um, and hopefully that will come with more better technique and um, that might stop putting the pressure on a little bit sometimes so yeah I'd like to get down to about 20 19 20 but it really realistically depends on how much filming I'm going to do and how much practice I can get in between okay uh, one final question hang on this grab the phone sorry if I drop this phone now it goes down over a cliff I'm not going to pick it up again it's already got a smash on it okay last question I promise it's the last question, but you're, if, if you're still here, well done, you ought to have a prize if you're still here. Uh, this is from Dougie Barnard on Twitter. Where do you envision your YouTube channel in a few years? Do you have any specific goals? Uh, yes, I do have specific goals. Um, it's actually going to, it's going to change a bit. Um, I don't want to say too much yet, but the next, I think it'll be the next video or the next video, well, one of the videos in the next couple of weeks, we're still waiting on a few bits and pieces to be put together, will explain what's happening with the channel in the coming years. Um, I just want to expand it bigger than just me. Still under the Big Oggy network, still Big Oggy channel, I'm still the glue that holds everything together, but I want it to be bigger than just me and this part of Cornwall. Um, if the community comes, that's great. I would love for you all to be part of it. I fully understand that there's an awful lot of people out there who don't get my channel, who don't get the fact that why should I even be playing golf half the time? 
Um, they want to see more edgy people, more, I don't know, there is not the right word, but you know what I mean by edgy? Um, more wacky, more out there. Uh, and that is the nature of YouTube as well. So for all you kind of just very safe people, come with me, okay? We will do more adventure stuff. We will do a bit more wacky things. Um, I'll explain more on the, when I do the next video. But the last couple of years, I've just been very careful. Um, didn't want to re rock any boats. I'm still new to the sport, still new to the area, still new to the clubs in the area. And uh, from now on, you'll probably start seeing a bit more of how I, I see things from my own eyes, not just a, uh, a glossed over version of what golf can be. Okay? So uh, keep watching, right, Dougie? Because, uh, yeah, this, this channel is going to change, it will develop, and I can't say too much yet. I just, I just want it all to be finished on the video, and then you'll get to see it in probably about a week anyway thanks so much for watching everybody sorry um, it's not been that exciting Q&A's are always interesting depending on uh, who's obviously asked a question uh, so if you're still here well done um, I've got a little walk up a hill now and I'm gonna nip past Cape Corma Club as well um, I think the bar is still closed the restaurants still closed everything's still closed but at least I get to have another little view kind of before we go I'm also thinking possibly of changing my full membership at one club i'm a member of west cornwall and maybe splitting into um, two or three more flexible memberships at lots of other clubs so i get an opportunity to play at different places at the moment what do you think on that subject anyway whatever you do stay safe okay i put it on twitter this morning if you're playing golf today brilliant if you're playing golf tomorrow fantastic if you're playing golf later that's just great that's just amazing and if you're not ready yet, if you don't feel safe enough to play golf yet, that's absolutely fine. And uh, it's your choice, your life, and, and I absolutely respect that you should be doing that and looking after yourself. And when you are ready, when you are less afraid of the situation, and when you feel that you're okay to go and play, come out and enjoy it again. And when Cornwall is more open to people, I'm happy to meet, you, meet any of you. And I'll travel as well. My wife and I will be traveling as well. And uh, we'll just have a lot of fun, okay? Either on film or not on film. But whatever you do, relax about it. Life will go on. Keep playing the game when you can. Enjoy the game. And if you're not going out, just watch us on YouTube, on all the different channels. We'll all do our best to keep bringing more stuff out for you. Whatever you do, keep to the rules, okay? Keep to the rules. We need to keep to the rules right now. Don't push any boundaries or any borders because this game is vitally important, not just as golf, not just because of us as golfers, but as the whole country with sport and everyone's looking at golf right now. So keep safe, keep to the rules, keep distanced, be patient. Remember there are people out there who try, all they're just trying to do is help you. Um, don't worry if your course isn't perfect right now. It can be a lot better than you think, but, be, yeah, but people have had to be limited on what they've had to do. And they're all doing their best to give you a really good sport and a really good pastime and something to enjoy and uh, things will improve so just be kind okay stay safe everybody be kind see you all later bye for now thanks very much for watching